buddies. The basket buddies are black beans, red beans, uh, pinto beans, lima beans, black eyed peas. You can swap in and out as you right. want. You have some options within that food group. 100%. And here's what I like you said. You said all processed foods are not created equal. And I think that's really important. Let's talk about that. Yeah, well, so processing basically means that the manufacturer has taken the food from its original state, has done all kinds of things, whether they refined it, they put additives into it, they bleached it, they heated it, whatever. Processed foods is a big category, but certain foods are more processed than others. And that's why I say, just as a cheat sheet, look at the back of a label next time you're in the store. If something has more than five to seven ingredients, it is very unlikely to be a non-processed food. There's gonna be processed in there. And so that's your cheat sheet. Five to seven ingredients typically means it has a greater chance of being a clean food. It's less processed. Now, certain companies will process a food, then you'll see the words enriched. This is what's really weird. It's enriched. What they do is, believe it or not, they take out the good stuff when they process it, then they put some of it back in. That's called enriching it. Mm. So you say to yourself, well, why do they do that? Why not leave it in there? They don't leave it in there for all kinds of reasons, cost, uh, the texture of the food, the color of the food. So I just want people to realize, look at the back of the label, look for dyes, those numbers, food coloring, look for the sugars. And I give you some names of what the sugars are that they use, because they don't always just say sugar, by the way, that's too easy. So if you look on page and look on page eight, all the different names that you may not realize, mm -hmm. Inversol, Isomalt, Malted Barley, Maltodextrin, these are different names of sugars that you can use. Corn in the syrup. Right? Uh-huh. Um, uh, so look at these things. These are, these are little tips. So when you go buy your foods, and by the way, you do not have to go to an organic store or a gourmet store to find good quality clean foods. Every regular grocery store will have it. You just have to look for it.